Hello, little lambs. This is Grandma Carla with Bible Stories for Little Lambs. And we're going to talk about Runaway Minnie. And I think it's going to have something to do with Runaway Jonah that we just talked about shortly ago. Okay, Minnie! Mama called from the kitchen. Will you please set the table for me? Minnie barely looked up from the book she was reading. Umph, she mumbled. Be sure to put on the placemats first, Mommy added. And while you're at it, would you please set the salt and peppers on? Umph, came another sound from behind the book. Oh, one other thing, Mommy called. Will you please feed rough and tough before dinner? Minnie looked up from her book. Why doesn't Maxie do some of that? She asked almost to herself, all I do is work. Of course, Minnie knew that Maxie would say the same thing if Mommy was saying it to ask him to do it. Minnie had barely finished saying that when Mommy called again. Oh, Minnie, one other thing, she said. Be sure to fill the water dish for Ruff when you feed him. Before Mommy could call again, Minnie threw down her book and stomped out to do her chores. She did not look very happy as she set the table, filled Ruff's water dish and fed him, and then she brought out a can of cat food and gave Tuff her dinner. You won't mind helping me wash the dishes tonight, will you? Mommy chimed in from the kitchen. Then we can change the sheets on your bed before you do your practicing on the piano. Minnie didn't want to stay inside to hear about any more work, so she stomped out the front door. Don't go far, Mommy called. We'll have dinner in about 45 minutes. I won't be here, Minnie grumbled softly. I'll, I'll run away. That's what I'll do. Then I won't have to work so hard anymore. Oh, I forgot to show you a picture from the last story. There's Jonah after the wave coughed him up on the shore. You see him? He looks pretty tired. And here's Minnie doing her chores, not liking it. Look at that grumbly face. And there's Minnie walking out the door. She's going to go run away. That's not a very good attitude to have, is it? Minnie wasn't sure where she would go or what she would do, but the first thing was to start somewhere. So she headed downtown. A little girl like Minnie heading downtown? But before she had reached the first little shops, Minnie noticed that the sky was getting darker and darker. Uh-oh, she whispered, looks like a big storm. What will I do now? There's my two little friends here in the nursery who are hearing this story with us. Running away wouldn't be much fun in a storm, especially since she had no umbrella or raincoat. When Minnie came to the stoplight at Main Street, the wind began to blow. Picking up dust and chewing gum wrappers and blowing them into Minnie's face. Bright flashes of lightning crackled across the sky, followed by loud rumbles of thunder. Minnie was afraid now. This was going to be a bad storm and Mommy and Poppy didn't even know she was gone. While Minnie waited for the light to change, the rain began to fall in big drops. Minnie decided she would make a dash for the toy shop across the street. She looked this way and that. There were no cars coming, so she ran across the street. But the policeman on the corner blew his whistle and yelled at Minnie. Are you trying to get killed? He shouted. Just then, the rain began to fall in torrents. By the time Minnie reached the toy shop, she was soaked. Downtown alone today, the toy shop man asked Minnie. Minnie nodded. She was soaked to the skin and water dropped from her clothes to the floor. Soon as I put this package in, in the back, I'll call your folks for you, the man said. They, you can give me their number and they can pick you up. Minnie gulped. What would she say to them? No, she didn't want that. 
As soon as the man went to the back, Minnie ran out into the rain and dunked into the entry of another shop down the street. But when Minnie looked up in the window, she saw a big poster of a shark. His mouth was open, and it looked like it was ready to swallow her. Minnie let out a little yank and ran out into the rain again. This time, she kept on running until she reached home. Mommy was busy in the kitchen and didn't hear Minnie come in. It took only a few minutes for Minnie to get the dry clothes on and hang her wet ones over the rack in the corner. She quickly dried her hair with Mommy's hair dryer and was the first one to sit down at the dinner table. Well, well, said Poppy. Isn't it nice that none of us has to be out in the rain this evening? Minnie gulped. After dinner, we'll read the story of Jonah from our new Muffin Family book, With Sails to the Wind, said Poppy. It's about a man who tried to run away from God and got into trouble in a storm. Minnie gulped again. She just could not imagine why anyone would want to run away, especially with a storm coming. Mommy, said Minnie, may I help you wash the dishes tonight? Then we can change the sheets on my bed before I practice the piano. Mommy smiled. Minnie smiled too. It would be fun to help do some of the chores tonight. Had Minnie learned a really big lesson? I think so. Let's listen to the questions. How was Minnie like Jonah? What was Jonah running away from? And what was Minnie running away from? Okay, how was Minnie like Jonah? Hmm. Did Jonah and Minnie both decide they didn't want to do what they were supposed to do? God told Jonah what to do, and he didn't want to do it. Minnie's mommy told Minnie what to do, and she didn't want to do it. What was Jonah running away from? Jonah was running away from God and doing what God had told him to do. What was Minnie running away from? She was running away because she didn't want her to do her chores and she just didn't think she should have to obey. She was wondering why Maxie didn't have to do it. What changed Minnie's mind about doing chores? Did she have a pretty horrible day? She had a pretty horrible day, didn't she? She tried to run away and decided that she didn't want to be a runaway after all. Do you ever get angry because you have to do chores? Be honest. What did you learn from this story about doing cheerfully what you are asked to do? It's very important, isn't it? Do you remember the song, Obedience? Obedience is the very best way to show God's love indeed. Doing exactly what the Lord commands, doing it happily. Action is the key, do it immediately, and joy you shall receive. Obedience is the very best way to show God's love indeed. Spell it. O B E D I E N C E. Obedience is the very best way to show God's love indeed. I hope you enjoyed the story of Minnie being a runaway. And the next time we read, we're going to read Sailing Through the Storm. Bye. Uh-oh, I just realized that I forgot to show you the pictures. Here's a picture of Minnie running in the rain. She ran away from mommy and daddy and she's running in the rain. And here's a picture when she saw, she was standing in the doorway of the store and she saw a big shark in the window. Doesn't that look like a mean shark? And she thought, oh my goodness, he looks like he's going to eat me. And she went, yike! And she ran right back out into the rain. 
This is Grandma Carla with Bible Stories for Little Lambs. I love you.